answer to chess. How we make our best better. Just repetitive use of the concept of the answer. End game opening, simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. It's got to be critical to our process of hitting one of those three key areas. Let's capture this pawn, this knight, sorry. Castle. Mm hmm. Shall we just bring this pawn here? Done the move order. Ooh, okay, fair enough. He captures. Done the move order slightly differently this time. Just testing myself. Or normally this center wouldn't be here anymore. So looking for the critical factors and they've gone too quick and we can take the queen off the board. So a critical move capturing a higher piece with a lesser piece. Still continuing, so bring the bishop back here, attacking this weak pawn. And we're going to capture this pawn. It can't be blocked, so we'll capture the pawn. So the opponent moved a little bit quick. It is a 15 minute game. So it's being able to take advantage of opportunities that are given to you as well. Okay, so they're still playing on, so that means we need to really knuckle down, focus. Don't really want the bishop getting trapped, so let's, shall we just bring the bishop back to here? All this air around the king now, we can start mobilizing our pieces towards this area. So, let's attack the center first, open up a bit of space if we can. It's attacking the queen, put a check on the king, priority, so it's a critical move. This pawn's been held to ransom at the minute, so the knight's having to defend. Rook's defending that area, so I'm going to capture, see if we can open up the space in the centre. It's not wanting that centre opening, so this pawn has gone. So the bishop doesn't have any protection on them, we do have a check on the king. So we can momentarily put a check here. Don't want the queen getting trapped, it's holding this rook to ransom at the moment. Dark square bishop, get the knight developed, maybe. Yep. So we got to this position fairly quickly. So what is the plan of action? Bishop could come here to go there. I mean, that's like a bit of fancy. He's taking himself off. So if the queen does take this um, knight, we do have an escape route down here to put a check on their king. So we'll take the knight. Can envisage the rook coming to attack. So we'll bring the queen here to put a check on the king. King is up on the back and black has resigned. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward in terms of developing the answer process. Uh, they have asked for a rematch, so we'll probably go for a rematch. Let's push through the center here. They may move a bit slower, or maybe not. So they've gone old school with the queen coming down on this side. I might go traditional. I do like exchange, trying to exchange the queen off though. Ordinarily you bring the knight here when they move. So let's go here. I'm still really tempted, but I'm going to go old school and bring the knight here. And he's attacking through onto the queen, onto our king on this side. So bring the king here, queen here. So he's going for the quick and dirties. So knight coming through here, putting pressure onto the queen. Queen probably sits here because it doesn't want to release the pressure on this pawn. Because our knight will be taken with a nice lovely fork. Yep, so that's not going to happen just yet. Could look to um, exchange off the queens with a check on the king. So could attempt that. 
so again critical pressure on the king area if it's possible could just take the um, queen off the board take the big guns off and then go for getting being up the exchange it's bishops on our pawn here so it's going to be it's going to have a little bit of a pawn thing going on so let's grab there but he's actually coming for the knight so this knight is dead so we don't really need to look to try and defend this uh, knight I'm going to take this knight off the board this pawn is still going but we could look to defend it okay so the bishops now got our our knight the knight is dead but it's done a good job because we're up the exchange looking to attack another weak piece so attack the bishop here and bring the pawns into the center so which side do we want to castle i think queen side probably looks fairly nice uh, if we don't take he wins the tempo because then he's um so we could actually take this pawn with the knight but let's take this pawn first his bishop's going to be on the diagonal so we need to block the bishop off or else he's going to win our rook so this pawn probably needs support by this pawn here but he's not doing that so we'll grab this pawn do have a size again of oh dear another fork winning another rook with the knight so we'll take this rook off the board no messing and like I say that knight's dead now don't need to do anything else with that we can castle this knight is looking to come here notice how I'm still concerned about their piece even though they've got a bishop and a knight and we've got two rooks if his knight comes in here we could block that off couldn't we so if we block off the attempt at the knight coming here then I'll feel more comfortable we only have one half open file so we need to try and make some use of that he's looking to try and break that more of that up is he allowing our knight to escape no okay so let's move the king up and start targeting towards this half or half open file so he's blocked his own knight's passageway now so we can push up here and look to get these <coughs> get these rooks on this half open file if possible <coughs> excuse me so you can expect the king to start moseying on over to get the knight while we look to try and double up here So his bishop's protecting the pawn that's going to eventually come here so we'll bring the rook like we said to double attacking the pawn at the same time so if we did capture either his knight takes if his knight takes he's going to be on this pawn here <clears throat> so is there anything else that the little sleeping knight can do beforehand no so we could push the pawn past we don't have to take I think we're going to push past give them something to think about then start maybe pushing this pawn up the center supporting <coughs> inching them up a bit at a time so the answer to chess it's about repetition of the concepts it's no particular move it's a conceptual thing and they've resigned again okay making your best play better evaluate your games and take action on the evaluation of the games and just keep repeating the changes that you're making all the time in every game if you're playing the same way all the time you're going to get the same results so if you want to improve make your best better you have to do things differently be more original be more you okay the answer to chess 15 minute game let's push through the center here let's 
capture, keep it simple. It's opened up space around his king side area, potentially fatal for them, hopefully. But we have to prove why it's fatal. So you might have an idea about an area and think, yes, I've, I've yeah, they've done something wrong. But if you can't take advantage of it, there's no point in woohoo. Let's um, bring the knight here. We do have option. Bishop could put the check here with the bishop. King has to move here. Queen fits into this gap here, attacking the king. King comes down here. Queen comes there. Shall we just see how that looks just from starting that? So we'll do that one first. We'll take it up to that point. And then his king moves. Don't think there's a checkmate per se from it, but it's initial movements of the end game opening process, putting pressure on the king area. So when they come here, then that's where I, I had visions of my queen being able to come across here, but I thought there was a blocker. <laughs> it's this pawn. <laughs> so he comes there, then the bishop can come here, but then his knight takes, then the pawn takes. And his king takes. So can I get to it any other way? Because I do have this knight that is being attacked. And my bishop is being attacked. My king queen, sorry, is attacked now. So maybe that wasn't the best situation to be messing with. I've got two pieces under attack now. Help me. Somebody. <laughs> knight could come here attacking the queen. Going to bring the knight attacking a higher piece. He could always drop it. Oh, he could drop his queen down actually. Um, queen's not necessarily under attack. We could keep the bishop, bringing the bishop back here attacking. If we take with the queen, then it gives the queen scope to come and attack here. I'm going to take with the queen. So it gives scope, like we said, to attack the king here. King doesn't have an escape square now. If only these pieces were slightly more advanced, but maybe the bishop... Oh, come on with the knight blockers. Don't you just hate these knight blockers? Man. Oh, I was so happy. I was thinking he's going to move across to the side. Okay, let's at Oops, excuse me. attack the knight so we get a free knight. He may push his pawn down, attack, attack. So we're still trying to swap. Oh, what is going on here? This ain't right, is it? Bishop attacking the king again. Unbelievable. What sort of defense mechanisms has this player got? We're, tre we're attempting to do something here. Okay, so we could keep the knight. Oh, yeah, we've got the check. So we, we win the knight. So it's starting to take shape. I'm a bit unhappy that my other pieces and a check again on his king. And that's about it. A bit unhappy these pieces aren't developed yet. And now my queen is there all on its own. It's created a bit of havoc, but uh, is there anything else? There's nothing else, is there? I'm gonna have to move, I'm gonna have to move. Attack a piece. Okay, let's go here. This king's feeling fairly safe now. It shouldn't be feeling safe. It's end game opening. We did quite a lot of damage there though. If we bring this, he pushes the pawn down onto the bishop. Then there's a white square in front of the king. If we go here, if we go there, got the x-ray through, 
onto the king so the pawn can't move. Ah, he's looking to double up though with his rook and the queen on the pawn. Got the knight, but then he's got the pawn pushing down onto the knight. Oh, it's all falling down. Right, okay. Don't panic. We're plus two at the moment, which is we've got like an extra minor piece. Visions, rook coming here, putting pressure on. If we bring the knight there, then his pawn's going to push down onto the knight. Knight, I suppose, then can go and put a check on the king. Also, having a two on one on this pawn. So that might work out. So maybe I don't need to lose so much sleep over that. The answer to chess stick with those two concepts as best possible. They should see you through. It's the attempt at trying to not make non-essential moves, moves that aren't critical to the situation. I think we've covered it in uh, previous exercises about finding the critical moves. And the critical moves, in, it goes in the order of the answer, <laughs> which is putting pressure on the king or the king area, or weak spaces or weak pieces end game opening that's the part of that process and the simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board so they've not actually done that so can we could we we could continue with this then couldn't we or should we kingside castle first seeing as it's not brought his rug there yet So then we could bring the rook here really want to get the knight involved i think i like that sort of pattern that showed there he's still not going on that side so do we want to risk it for a biscuit or do we just come straight to attack this pawn we we'll come to attack this pawn that we do have an element of coming here if he does push down I don't think they'll fall for it but they might do oh he's not falling for it so if we pushed here then he pushes down onto our knight then the knight doesn't have the same sort of impact just bring the rook here facing the king subliminally swarm in the king area so this pawn is pinning the king we're waiting for this pawn to drop but because they didn't do it the first time I'm not envisaging that they're going to do it the second time because we're looking for this juicy fork here yeah so he's not going for any of that okay so if we did push there he just pushes down onto the knight yeah but then the rook could just take the pawn couldn't it let's push here the rook can take the pawn because this pawn can't take it back because of the bishop so we'll take with a check critical moves and this king has gone into this little cubby hole here there must be a checkmate of some sort in there there must be bishop can't take that just yet he can't be sitting in there all comfortable Maybe we double the rooks up first. Surely not. What about this queen? Queen's not doing anything. Oh, look at that. Bring that queen there. I think it's job done, isn't it? I suppose he defends here with this queen there. Let's just bring this queen here. Critical move. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> this pawn can take the rook. <laughs> The reason why I'm tearing me. Oh, that is so special. <laughs> I've fallen for one of the oldest things in the book. <laughs> Just push onto his screen. <laughs> so stupid. Oh my gosh. You really have to watch for those. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you give me strength. Put a check on the king. <laughs> Support from the queen. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. Deal with me. Right, okay. <laughs> if we go here, he does on pass on type thing. <laughs> That's so shocking. He's got a 2 on 1 there with his queen. Let's put a check on his king. Oh, I've, I've gone stir crazy now. <laughs> Unbelievable. I got carried away with the grandiose movements. Oh dear. So the king's moved. I'm going to put a check on him again. Get this rook on the queen. Unless there's a better move. Come in here, putting a check on him again. Although this one would be better actually because it gets his queen. So out of out of that bit of shabbiness comes a bit of gold, I think. Yeah, so we get the queen. But he's got two rooks and the bishop, so he can still do stuff with those. So that critical, again, that critical focal point, uh, even though we made an error, um, we still focused on the critical moves, which was pressure on the king and the king area, um, which gave us again another good position. So the system does work. Uh, you just have to practice it and believe in it. <laughs> so the king's going maybe here because he doesn't want to block his rooks because his rooks are going to come charging for our queen. So we need to give our king a flight square. He's not done that, so that might be something. That might be something. Give the king a flight square anyway. Should we push this and block this even more? Yeah, just give it a flight square. So it's not over, as we always say, because they're still in the game. It's got a bishop. Oh no, not the pawn. He's going to be pushing this pawn down. I'm going to have to block that. I'm going to have to block that, and the queen doesn't really have a good transition up here. Let's see, if get it into some sort of action. Maybe to here, pressing on. If he forgets himself, we'll get the bishop off. Uh, kind of has, in a way. Yeah. So we'll get the bishop off. King's got the flight square that we talked about. So that all seems to be falling into place. His rook can come down here, start taking the knight off the board. Hmm. Mm, so it's all active, def aggressive, defensive work at the minute, really. What I can see, what's going to happen now. So it's king's in the corner. He's put a check on anyway. So let's go here. What can we do? Pawn can push onto his king. Um, knight can put a check on his king. So when he comes up for the knight, put a check on. Where does the king go? He's just going to hide in the corner, but not on the dark square. Ooh, what's this all about? Let's put the check on. Two on one on this pawn. Rook's on a white square. We've got a dark square bishop, which is just holding court. Ooh, do we could we do let put a check on first? And black's resigned. Fantastic. Oh, the bats for a rematch. I think that's probably my, whoops, that's probably my last one. I think I've done three already. Um, shall we go for a rematch? Okay, let's go. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's trying to make my best better. And as we've seen throughout that, it's not. It, I, I'm not playing it perfect, but because of the idea of 
end game opening the answer is about putting that pressure onto critical pieces critical squares and if you've got a chance to attack the king keep attacking the king and keeping that pressure on and that's what we did in this game even though we made an error we could still capitalize on attacking the king critical pieces practicing the answer to chess let's capture the pawn here and just block this pawn using the basics of chess understanding as we know it position player for the bishop and castle in king safety just developing this bishop now x-raying through to their queen a higher piece and just bring the bishop back he can take the bishop so it's going to open up our um and he's not actually gone for that yet so we we do have a bit of a time edge I'm going to bring the knight here I wonder if that's safe to do so and then bring the bishop here I expected the pawn to come down and push onto the bishop so it would have opened up our kingside pawn knight's now looking for an exchange I would love to open up the f pawn so I think that's going to work in our favour when the bishop takes oh it's not actually so it's tempo wise we can capture here so develop the knight just to make sure we've got our pieces working in unison that white square bishop does have this at the moment but like I say it needs support it needs a little bit of work before it can actually do anything with that pushing here he's got two pieces on there two little tiny pawns so I'm going to push this pawn here this is like slow development okay so the opponent's playing slow development as well so I'm going to push this pawn here we're both really focused on the king side area you can tell he's got his pieces ready and raring to go I've got mine ready to go blasting but we're trying to sort our bed out first if there's any weaknesses on the uh, queen side then we're going to try and open that up first I'm looking to try and get a lead in and this small lead hopefully should allow us it's only a plus one but from that move there I was just going to say I'm looking for a lead in towards their king area uh, to get an advantage and it's the smallest of things it's just a pawn positionally I'm not too sure whether it's a good position or not so he's on the pawn so I think if we do this if he forgets himself and the bishop takes our queen can take the bishop so that's me reminding myself of that because it does look tasty but I think this pawn is going to come oh it's not so we can push this pawn up because this pawn potentially was oh it's good it's just sitting there forever now let's just face the bishop off with the fancy little outpost thing going on so trying to win those tempo tempos right by the opponent attempting to strengthen their area up we're trying to weaken those um, stronger areas I don't think he's going to capture, I think he'll t bring it back again. So we're chomping at the bit to get this sort of angle in, but we really wanted the queen to be in front of the bishop. But if he exchanges then we can't go with that, but if the bishop does move we're sort of looking to come here to come here. It's obvious it can just block it down, but it's an attempt at something. So I think you have to be prepared for the answer to chess not to be clear cut. It's not like an, an exact science type thing. It can be the ugliest thing going. But out of that ugliness, if you're the one that comes out advantageous, then it's working it's doing something for you and that's the whole idea behind the answer it's trying to find the correct solution for you might not be the best computer solution after you look at your evaluation looks like the opponent may have left the game and they've got quite a few seconds to go before that um, like one of those 
things I keep saying is that um, people seem to have forgotten where the resign button is. This isn't a resignable position, so I'm not suggesting the opponent resigns here. But if you were going to resign, you might as well just resign rather than just leave the game. Um, I don't think they've got a bad signal. I'm just going to take here. There's no increment on this. And so that now suddenly they're moving real quick. Just bring the queen here, protecting the pawn. Yeah, so they're moving dead quick. What I believe has happened, they've, yeah, anyway, we'll see. We'll see the result of the game afterwards. So we will attack the rook here. If they're going to go for another long break, mind you, it's only seconds this time. And we will take the rook. Like I say, if they were going to if they were going to resign, they may as well just press the resign button. I think we have to learn to um, take disadvantages gracefully. Um, but to do, we have options. Bit of a flight square for the king. it's a plus one situation I'm not sure with seven seconds they might be able to capitalize on the disadvantage that they're in at the minute so the seconds run out okay um, I'm just gonna have a look quick look at the analysis because I don't know really what the panic was about it but we weren't that it's just plus one Okay, so computer's got us at it's a, in a better situation. Well, I felt like we were in a better situation until this point here. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Evaluation tells all. Yeah, so we're in a better position here. And I felt okay. I even felt okay doing this queen move. But look at that. It's showing black would have whooped us. Whoa, what did they play? They played rook across. Yeah, so then we were back again in favour. Oh, damn. If I'd have seen that, I definitely would have um, had a few questions. Yeah, very good. Same rook there. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, because it's eventually going to come here, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Look here. Then it doubles up. So there's no way of us catching up, really, is there? Because we can't take the pawn back. We're still in that situation. Ooh, yeah, that would have been... So I don't... This is what I'm saying. I don't know why they give on, gave up in that way. It's, hmm interesting times anyway making my best better all comes down to evaluation so i do like to evaluate my games as best possible um if it's pretty obvious in the games that you know why i've won and why the opponent played in a certain way then i, I don't necessarily do those ones but like case in point this one here um, I know I felt like I had an okay position, but I didn't see as it was like a a, a game where the, the opponent had to leave and then come back ages later. And yeah, so that particular situation there, I have to be mindful of that type of stuff. Hmm, excellent. That's the way to make your best better though. Analyze, analyze, take action on the analysis. A 15 minute game just practicing the answer to chess end game opening simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board yes the knight on the rim trick it's 
fracture this pawn here classed as poison because well, this person's a, an edge person and oh they're just throwing pieces to the wind now aren't they develop the queen yeah they're just throwing although he's got the bishop here so I don't think they've lost out too much have they yeah, we're plus four, so I think we're up a minor piece. Yeah, the, the, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Let's grab this pawn here. Tuck in the... Now, it could take this pawn, but he takes back. If we've got the bishop involved, maybe it could help out. Castle. King safety. Queen's down, attacking this pawn. What else is he attacking? Attacking this pawn. So has he undefended the king, made it weak? Not yet. Knight could come here. I really need to open this white square bishop then it looks like to me. Bishop takes, rook takes. It's not going to do that, is he? Attacking the knight. Knight can jump here. King's on the dark square. How was it on a dark square? Eh? I was looking for my bishop to attack their queen, a higher piece. Bishop, smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. And we're making inroads towards the king area. Okay, so the queen's moved now on a dark square, defending this pawn at the same time. I have something on attack, don't I? The knight is being attacked. Could bring it here. It's not. Yes, I could bring it there. Let's bring it here. Because the bishop is protecting this square. Although, really and truly, nothing's attacking. If the knight comes here, I'm not attacking anything. So it's nice to hold this square. Maybe the queen can then come here. And then that would be job done. So you'd have to move this pawn down so that the bishop is protecting this square. Oh, okay, fair enough. But we get the checkmate anyway because we just jump here. Okay. That was a uh, short and sweet. The answer to chess. Trying to make my best play better. <laughs>